Hello, in this video, I will edit a photo using the color matching to the reference image. As a reference, I chose this image. To see the reference, you need to press the equals key. I go to the comparison mode by clicking on C key to see my image and reference at the same time. Now I go to menu, edit, match colors to reference. I will reset all settings here. The reference image does not contain obvious tint. That is, highlights and shadows do not have a dominant shade. Therefore, it does not make sense to use the degrade reference slider. That is, I will not extract tinting curves from the reference, just as I will not touch the slider responsible for applying these curves to my image. I go to Matching section. Let me remind you that in the leftmost position, the sliders do not affect the image. And in the rightmost position, the selected characteristic is adjusted as closely as possible to the reference. For example, I adjust the white balance. In this case, the reference is warmer than the original. And when moving the slider to the right, the picture becomes closer to the reference. That is, it becomes warmer. I choose nearest as a hue matching method. That is, the colors of the image will be moved on the grid to the closest colors of the reference. I will adjust the luminance in order to evaluate the color with the desired brightness. Then I'm going to adjust saturation and hue. Greens do not suit me, so with the help of the locked hue and locked range sliders, I will set a range of colors that do not fall under the changes on AB Grid. That's what happened. Here is before. Here is after. Do not be afraid if any color is obviously wrong in terms of hue or saturation when compared to the whole image. It can always be adjusted manually afterwards. For example, the houses in the image have become too yellow. Therefore, I select the necessary points and reset them. On Curves tab, you can see that the influence slider of the RGB curves is set to zero because I did not use curves when matching. I will decrease saturation in the highlights a little and increase it in the shadows. That's what happened. Here's before, here's after. And that's all. I hope this video was useful for you. Bye everyone.